Hello family and friends. A lot of plants from the spring and summer are, are really giving you a lot of fall interest. We see the bright colors and the more like spring and summer colors are getting further into the fall. You see here we have the pinks and salmon colors here with the impatient and also with the fincas here we have this red dot in the center. Now that right there draws your eye to each flower. Even as you glance, it, it pulls you in. Just that little tiny little red dot brings you in closer to the bed to see what's going on. Now, with this area here, these impatience are in this bed here with the the mum. Probably can't see now, but there is a there's a few mums that are getting pale. Some of the blooms are pale. They still have that yellow pop. And we may do some deadheading there to, to, to get those back right. But what I really wanted to bring to your attention is how big these impatience are. I'm gonna walk over here. They're up to my thigh already. Look at this. That's pretty big. <laughs> so when we look at these and we're saying hey falls on the way let's go ahead and pull them up uh, nah this year we're just gonna let them go as long as possible see these spring and summer colors here also bring nice fall and winter interest we have um, mint plant here on the side it's either mint or it's either peppermint or spearmint and there's the mum. I'll know next year that I could plant them further away to get that mum uh, room to, to spread out. And looking at the, oh, I also want, oh, look at this. At the top, it's the same color. The colors are really, really close together, but this here is a mandeville. And oh, you probably didn't even see it. There's a pot right here. Look at this. In the center of this uh, bouquet of flowers, there's actually pot down here. See that? Hold on. Look. See? That's how big they are. They are up to my to my thigh actually. And we're just gonna see how long they will go into the winter. Tell you what, this is a nice little corner here of some some color and I really love it. See, in the morning, the sun just goes straight across here. And on the corner of the house, all of these flowers here are getting full sun. Got the white vincas there. The salmon, we have hot pink and uh, salmon colored uh, impatience. The giant moon. The red with uh, the yellow center. In the Mandeville. Waiting for this uh, to focus. There's a uh, there's a pot in there that comes up to like my thigh. So this this area here is pretty big. On this bed here, the mum is spent. Look at that. So I'm just gonna cut it back. See down if you look further down in here, it's green down here. So, I will, after these blooms flush out, I'm thinking about either just cutting the whole top off or just watering it and see what happens. I'll probably cut it down into like a smaller, a smaller dome and it should push out some blooms. Got the uh, Colocasia escalentas in there. And the Alocasia uprights. This is an upright elephant ear that 
that was really good in zone 7. We're out here at uh, zone 7 in Richmond. And it's, it's showing off. We got the black elephant ears. That really silky uh, black look to them. The uh, porcoladas, porchilacas in that pot there. So, as the, if the mums are spent, completely spent, we'll cut those back and put plain seeds in those areas. The reason I'm looking at these is because I know once frost hits, most of everything in this bed is going to be gone. So, the impatience will be cutting those back. And I'll be doing another video on cutting the cutting the elephant ears back. Now, the mums will still be here, but they're going to look like small shrubs. And in these areas, we're going to have uh, pansies. I probably put them in like groups of four, something like that, with mums between them. Also, have some other mums that are going to be transplanted in this area from the front porch. We're going to be using some pastel and uh, this deep purple. These pastel blues. With, they have kind of a, a purple tint to them for softer tones. You have the white. See, as we go along, we pinch off different... Uh, areas on your leaves. Sometimes if the petals are have already are if they're already spent and the petals are finished and they lay on the leaves you want to get those off of there and take that stem back as far as possible and snap it off at the growth point. We have the red with the yellow center. This red is really popular at a couple couple of our uh, uh, properties well, we use these because because of the holidays with the red and white and they really do great uh, one of the properties they really like using white a lot and then they have like different uh, areas with uh, clusters of red Now with these mums, we've been paying close attention because some of them will look uh, pale. They'll have a, uh, a pastel uh, color to them before they actually fade. So once they start looking bad, that's when we pluck them off. And we have blooms that flush out right behind them. See like right there? Looking at it from this angle with the, uh, the fire pit, needs a few more, uh, needs more pea gravel in here. Uh, later on we're going to do a video on these three pots. Can't wait to get this pea gravel in because in the fall I like to, uh, you know, have little fires there. Not necessarily for heat, but, you know, just for a type of, uh, of atmosphere. We have the smashed mum. It looks like a beaver was just laying on this, relaxing. Uh, I cut it back, and it has a lot of blooms flushing out. See all those little yellow dots? Even though the mum looks smashed... <laughs> it's still going to have some blooms around the outside, so I'm just going to let that grow. Cut it back for next year. Here's our other mom, which is spent. And we did a transplant with this uh, osteo, and it's really doing good. Got some blooms here. That's one of the blooms on this uh, osteo. It's about the size of a basketball, and this is one of the blooms. 
they're really nice they look like a uh well each bloom has a has a daisy uh type of a flower and they come in a different uh, different array of colors like purple uh reds white uh salmon color this one has blooms all over it this is the uh the purple purple one i might get one more flush out before before winter um, I'm debating on whether I should overwinter this or what. And we have the uh, porch lockers. Letting them go as long as possible. And have, I'm at another property. I have uh, flowers on standby. Because I know as soon as frost comes through, these are gone. They have like a succulent, uh, viney type of uh, growth. A spreading, they have a spreading habit. And yellow... Uh, pollen on the inside. It goes from a pink to a salmon uh, color to yellow. Very beautiful. This is the, uh, the biggest geranium I've ever grown and it's still pushing out blooms. Look at this. Have those in different areas. Of, co of course you want to go through and snap these off at the growth point and it encourages more blooms look at that but when frost comes through these will be gone just taking a look at everything is st that's still here up until up until frost these are the things that are going to give you those um those late blooms and the uh, late fall pollinators. Taking another, uh, a closer look at this osteo, this is in a pot that's in the center of this bed here. Okay, now before the elephant ears come out, this pot is the tallest thing in, in this um, bed. Okay, you can see it on this side. See that glaze to it right there? Okay, now we have an osteo in the top. Just by looking here, I already see 12 blooms. One, two, three, four. Look at that, five, six, seven, eight. And on this side, nine, 10, 11, 12. I mean, there's 14 to 18 blooms on this one osteo. We may, it may flush out before frost. We'll see, I'm definitely gonna be doing updates on that with these uh the shiny black elephant ears i mean this is really really showing off just before the winter time i hadn't really planned on doing a garden tour but this is kind of like the last chance i get to to look at this now this is these are the uh porch lockers that um, they have a spreading habit and they're they're playing it right into the bed as you can see they still have that salmony color but it's more on a purpley pink side of the spectrum now that's really I don't know how this looks through the camera but this really it's really nice it does well with the the hot pink uh, sun patients now these are up to my knee in height The mum, this is the same mum that I uh, was just going to probably cut it back one last time, let it flush out blooms one last time, and then I'll cut it back like just a third. See right now it's kind of like a, a beach ball size, uh, like a foot and a half tall. Uh, when I cut it back it's going to be like the size of a, a basketball. And through the spring and summer it will just look like a, like a hedge until the blooms come out in the late summer. The uh, Super Bells from Proven Winters, they're flushing out blooms like just before the end of the fall. Uh, we've been having uh, overnight temperatures like in the 60s, the mid 60s, uh, low and mid 60s. Had the Mandeville still here, hanging on with some um, zinnias. 
Still trying to get this fire pit finished. It's not going to be long though. Quarter line. And on this corner here, the Mandeville. So as I step back and look at the beds, I'm going to go ahead and bring this to a close because I've basically looked at everything that I wanted to look at today. Well, that's going to wrap it up for the day. I know it looks like I'm laying on the ground, but uh, this, this is just some flowers on a table behind me. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. I just wanted to show you uh, some of the plants that get really, really close to uh, the fall. And some of them make it through frost. And we're going to be doing updates to see which ones do. I'm in Zone 7 in, in Richmond, Virginia. Uh, zone 7. And the winters uh, uh, vary around here. But right now in, let's see, on October the 10th and the 11th have been uh, in the temperatures like the mid-60s, low to mid-60s overnight. So right now we've been growing a lot of grass and uh, basically doing maintenance in the beds and uh, repotting. But um, we're going to have some other videos doing updates and some installs. Uh, with some of our different uh, plants and flowers. Um, hit the subscribe button to get all our videos and the notification bell to get the latest videos uh, right when they're posted. <laughs> Enjoy your day.